I'm going to do today is I'm going to fix the pull-up station and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come straight out then I'm going to tee off to the sides and I'm going to do a 45 up to the post that should help the stability of the pull-up station all right so Mike had the idea to put a crossbar on here to center this post because the problem is, is if that's not centered, this thing's gonna be tipping all over the place. And one of the issues we're trying to fix is the instability. So we notched the corner out, drew a line and notched it out. And then Mike had this idea to put a crossbar here so that we could hold all this together, which I did not think of. And because Mike builds doors, he thought of that right out the gate. So. Gonna tack up the centerpiece and double check our measurements and then figure out how much we want to trim the side pieces, which is gonna be very, very little. And then they're gonna fit like a glove. Then this thing's not going anywhere at all. thickness of the saw blade out there? Uh, about an eighth of an inch? Really, it's not an eighth of an inch. Yeah, so it's not even gonna work that, right? It's worth just putting a grinder up against it and keeping it level and trying to... Yeah, because if you try to use that big blade out there, it's not gonna be accurate. Okay. Alright, so what I've done today, today I drilled some holes in the, uh, in the pipe, the inch and a half pipe, and I had inch and a quarter pipe that I'm going to slip in and out so someone shorter can raise up and down. As you can see, I've made my own holders because I can't seem to find my nuts and bolts. <laughs> can't find my nuts and bolts. That's <laughs> kind of funny. Anyways. So all I did was just tack this up. The last thing I'm gonna do is weld it around and then weld the tops 
over here to the base. I've cleaned off all the rust. So basically all we're gonna shoot is me making one more 45 cut here in the chop saw. And then I'm gonna take this piece. I'm gonna put this piece on to reinforce the front support. So we'll see what happens. Almost every time I got a cut of 45, I almost every time cut the wrong 45. <laughs> yeah, and then I ended up cutting it off. <laughs> the wrong way? Yeah, and redoing it. So I always double check that I, got, that I got the cut going the right way. Set it in there, make sure the backstop is tight. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and de-sharpen these corners. Then we're gonna find out if this all lines up. Looks like that's gonna work out just fine. And then you can see right here, I shaved some of the paint off where I assumed on this post this was gonna go. I took some of the paint off so that we could get a weld. Now what I'm gonna do is grind these, these corners off. I already grinded these off so they're nice and smooth. Looks good to me. Get it lined up where I want it. And what I'll do is tack it to hold it in place. You know what they say about welders? Hmm. They fill large gaps. 